It's a homemade one or a real one? It's a real one. It was given to us for evidence in a court case against one of the women. Yeah, fine. All right. Well, it's an American spy base. It's run by the National Security Agency of America. They say it's an RAF base, but that's just so they can introduce bylaws and stuff like that. So therefore, it's there for the American interests. It's there so that they can monitor our market research and use it for their own good. So that's economic spying. And it's like it's not just listening into the bad people, i.e., the drug dealers, the terrorists, the naughty ones. It's listening into everybody. So everybody's phone calls go through that base. Everyone who lives in the northern hemisphere. It's not just this country. So that's like a complete abuse of civil liberties. People don't know it's going on. So that's why we're here to, you know, say hey, ask questions about this base. It's got a system called the Echelon Dictionary System, which is a computer type thing that. All the telecommunications go through this computer and it has key words, key addresses, key phone numbers programmed into it and um, it picks up the keywords it wants and stuff and prints out that entire like conversation onto magnetic tape or something like that and then some little operator sits there and goes through it all to see if there's anything that the base can use and then that all goes back to the NSA. Um, we're here as a peaceful, completely non-violent protest against the base and against all its involvements in against civil liberties, breaking the Communications Interception Act of 1985, there for the war stuff. I mean, they won an award for what they did during the Gulf War, which like just basically says how crap it is, because the Gulf War was just over oil and shit like that. And um, we're there to say, hey, this is wrong. And we get violent confrontations. The police are violent towards the peace women and have, you know, attacked them and stuff like that. We get people driving by, throwing things at camp, throwing firebombs and stuff like that, which is really nasty when you're a non-violent protest. Um, to do with UFOs, I don't really know much about it, but people have seen them. A lot of people have been up here and said it's a real hot spot for UFOs. Peace women claim to have seen them as well, so maybe there's something going on up there. Um, Last time we asked a parliamentary question about how many people work there, they said there were 2,000 Americans working there, and they do shifts, so I don't know how many people there are on a shift, but there's also a few British people who work there, but they get all the crap jobs like doing the food and cleaning up and everything. Um, the underground tunnels and stuff probably are there. I mean, there's the bunkers, which you can see as you drive past, so don't really know, but it's quite likely. Touch the zoom then. No, no, no. Keep it zoomed back. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was waving to him behind what? the desk. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
been chased from men with Hill spy base by the police and uh, they seem to be keep on radioing our position to uh, headquarters. I think what they're trying to do is get a lot of vehicles together so they can trap us somewhere. So I'm not hanging around in any one spot for too long because I don't intend on being trapped. And I'm going to swap this film in a minute so if they steal, uh, if they steal the other film in the camera they won't have the best stuff. So. <laughs> Put a porn film in there. <laughs>